Well, there's a lot of different pitfalls that people could run into. One of them is just not getting started. That's one of the biggest ones uh, overall. Um, another one is overcomplicating it. Um, basically, people, they get frozen by decision paralysis. They don't know how to get started. Uh, they get overwhelmed with options. A lot of financial investing content uh, historically has been kind of jargony. It's kind of as though it's like put out of reach of, of most people. And I think another big one is over concentration. A lot of times when people do get interested in investing, they tend to get drawn towards some of the more high volatility or things that don't really compound super well. It could be, for example, people get really into like mining stocks because they're very volatile, even though they don't have a really good track record or they get really into a big theme or something rather than um, fully understanding what they're investing in. Um, and so there's, there's multiple things that people run into. In the shadow of ongoing economic tremors, renowned economist Lynn Alden cast a spotlight on an evolving crisis, the entrenchment of fiscal dominance and its ramifications on the U.S. economy. As of mid-2024, the latest indicators suggest an alarming trend. The U.S. national debt has surged past $34 trillion, with the debt-to-GDP ratio climbing to a precarious 120%. This development is not just a numerical uptick, but a harbinger of deeper economic malaise, highlighting a critical pivot from traditional monetary policy to a period dominated by hefty government spending. In response to the pandemic, the U.S. government unleashed over $5 trillion in stimulus measures aimed at stabilizing and invigorating an economy crippled by lockdowns and uncertainty. This substantial fiscal effort has continued into 2024, with the federal budget deficit expected to hover around $1 trillion for the fiscal year. While these figures underscore a commitment to shield the economy from immediate peril, they also weave a narrative of dependency on fiscal intervention at scales previously unimaginable. Alden's analysis paints a grim picture of the aftermath of such fiscal exuberance. The burgeoning national debt raises not only concerns over fiscal health, but also questions the very sustainability of this approach. The cost of servicing this debt, particularly in an environment where interest rates are ticking upwards, now approaching 5.5%, poses a formidable challenge. This financial strain threatens to crowd out essential government expenditures or necessary hikes in taxation, both of which carry significant socioeconomic repercussions. Moreover, inflation remains a thorn in the side of economic stability. The U.S. Consumer Price Index reports a persistent increase, standing at around 4% annually, significantly overshooting the Federal Reserve's comfort zone of 2%. This stubborn inflationary trend compels the Fed to persist with interest rate hikes, a traditional tool that Alden argues is losing its efficacy in the current fiscal-dominated landscape. The interplay between high inflation and rising interest rates sets a complex stage where economic growth could be stifled even as attempts are made to manage inflation. The structural shifts in the economy further complicate the scenario. Government spending has inadvertently sculpted winners and losers in the economic arena. Sectors like infrastructure and technology thrive, buoyed by government contracts and initiatives. Conversely, areas such as commercial real estate find themselves under siege burdened by rising borrowing costs which dampen investment prospects. Alden's critique extends to the long-term outlook, which remains bleak without significant policy recalibration. The Congressional Budget Office's projections of continuing annual deficits exceeding $1 trillion signal a dire need for a strategic rethink. The potential solutions, increased taxes or spending cuts, are as politically fraught as they are economically necessary. In light of these challenges, Alden's concern for the long-term sustainability of current fiscal and monetary policies is palpable. She underscores the urgency for a balanced approach that not only addresses immediate economic needs but also considers future generations who will bear the burden of our current fiscal path. The real-world implications of these economic policies are vividly observed in everyday life. From the rising cost of living impacting families across the nation to small businesses grappling with fluctuating interest rates, the economic policies of today sculpt the societal contours of tomorrow. Moreover, the global economic landscape, with its intertwined trade and financial systems, means the ripple effects of U.S. policy decisions extend far beyond its borders. As Alden suggests, without thoughtful adjustments to both fiscal and monetary frameworks, the U.S. risks a scenario where short-term fixes could morph into long-term economic stagnation or worse, 
a recession. This calls for a nuanced understanding of economic levers and a courageous application of policy that threads the needle between stimulating growth and maintaining fiscal prudence. Amid growing concerns about economic stability and the traditional financial structures, Lynn Alden provides a forward-thinking perspective on the burgeoning role of digital currencies. As of 2024, Bitcoin, along with other cryptocurrencies, has increasingly become a focal point of discussion heralded not just for its investment potential but also for its practical implications in a financially unpredictable world. Alden's approach to Bitcoin is particularly compelling, viewing it as a robust hedge against fiscal irresponsibility and inflationary trends that are plaguing economies globally. The core attributes of Bitcoin, its decentralized nature, limited supply, and transparent transaction ledger, offer a stark contrast to the often murky and flexible monetary policies that have contributed to current economic uncertainties. Notably, Bitcoin's cap supply of 21 million coins is fundamental to its appeal. This limitation fosters a form of digital scarcity that could theoretically bolster its value against depreciating fiat currencies. This perspective gains further traction when considering Bitcoin's role in regions marred by economic instability or high inflation. In such locales, Bitcoin is not merely an investment but a necessary financial tool for preserving wealth. Its capability to operate independently of traditional banking systems makes it especially valuable in less developed or financially insecure regions, where it can facilitate transactions and store value without the need for conventional financial infrastructure. Parallel to the discussion on Bitcoin, Alden underscores the significance of stablecoins. These digital currencies, which are typically tethered to more stable assets like the US dollar, strike a balance between the innovative aspects of cryptocurrencies and the reliability of fiat currencies. In environments where banking systems are inaccessible or unreliable, stablecoins can serve as a vital economic lifeline, providing a stable medium for daily transactions and savings. Regarding investment strategies in this digital era, Alden advocates for a nuanced and diversified portfolio that includes digital assets. In an economic landscape characterized by high inflation and potential fiscal turmoil, digital currencies offer an alternative avenue for mitigating risk. However, Alden cautions investors about the inherent volatility and regulatory uncertainties surrounding digital assets. She emphasizes the importance of aligning investment choices with one's risk tolerance and investment timeline, suggesting a balanced approach that integrates both digital and traditional assets. In her thesis, Alden articulates a vision where the integration of Bitcoin stablecoins into broader investment portfolios not only taps into the growth potential of these digital assets, but also provides a safeguard against the systemic risks of conventional financial financial systems. As digital currencies continue to evolve and gain regulatory clarity, their role in safeguarding and enhancing investor portfolios is expected to become increasingly significant. This transformative financial landscape, as envisioned by Alden, invites both seasoned investors and novices to reconsider their investment strategies. It highlights the growing importance of understanding the intersections between traditional financial mechanisms and digital innovations. In essence, Alden's insights serve as a guide for navigating the complexities of the modern financial environment, advocating for a strategy that is both progressive and prudent, poised to capitalize on digital opportunities while managing traditional risks. As the global economy trades through these uncertain times, the insights offered by Alden provide a crucial framework for individuals and institutions alike to recalibrate their financial strategies. This approach not only aims at growth and stability, but also at fostering a resilient economic environment that can withstand both current and future financial storms.